What's up, Docs and Docettes? Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed 19th critic here, suffering like succotash. Um, we're talking today about Sylvester the Cat over there uh, on the back of my futon. And um, to kind of uh, talk, to kind of set the stage for the, uh, the, the black cat that is Sylvester, um, I'm drinking black coffee in a black coffee mug. And... Uh, trying to cover up my red nose see it's a it's a joke about drinking anyway riding the shield talking today about sylvester and was he always black <laughs> fluffer of the fuck attack where did my eye go well sylvester um a lot of people are uh, are talking about uh this uh, this this design of yours you see and um, if you look at uh, this cartoon um, that uh, that came out early in your career, Sylvester, uh, Life with Feathers, um, well, depending what source you're looking at, your uh, your coat is the uh, is the question. Um, basically, let's get a look at a, a clip here of uh, Life with Feathers as we know it. Uh, if you're watching it on uh, the streaming services or if you're watching this on uh, me TV tune in with me or if you're watching it on some eventual blu-ray like the um, good little <laughs> Looney dudes consumer that you are but yeah that's uh that looks like Sylvester except for he doesn't really look black he looks navy blue especially in these close-up shots when you uh, have a bluebird in his mouth. Um, however, it does need to be said that uh, some older people uh, my age and uh, slightly younger um, are saying that it's... We believe that that is a, a restoration error. That... Because uh, there's, there's, a, there's a belief, I would say confirmed fact but there's a belief that the uh the people who do these restorations um aren't given complete artistic control so much as they are given certain mandates about uh doing these uh restoring these cartoons but having the characters appear certain uh colors and ways and um it's not always artists that are doing these things um that's the belief and so this is uh i was cited as an example as a, uh, a cartoon that got the uh the um the colors wrong on sylvester and i think a lot of that has to do with the fact that us older folks are used to seeing that same cartoon looking a lot like this you know on crap because it was recently only fairly recently uh, restored and for years we were watching these these broadcast tape dupes, which are basically uh, the the film, you know, the film prints that are you know in, in the and a lot of these were, were, were duped in the in the late 60s and 70s, um, onto uh, onto broadcast tape, and uh, so the the quality is very inferior, and one of the things that is hard was harder to hardest to do. In putting these things on television was 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 darker colors that weren't necessarily black. There's some uh, there's some Roadrunner cartoons where the coyote and the Roadrunner and the the browns and the blues they just get really dark and you there's a lot of time you can't tell what they are and so you get things like this where we we saw this cartoon and we're like oh well that's Sylvester and he does look black. You know his fur does look black there but then you see the restoration and you compare it and yeah he is he's dark blue but I mean the the real thing I think that um, and this is like what the diehards notice this is what we notice after years of watching these cartoons if you're a if you're a casual Looney Tunes fan this this is not the kind of thing you'll pick up on right away but in the uh, in the Looney in, in every other cartoon where Sylvester is depicted as as solid black and indeed when Daffy is, is depicted as solid black 
their outlines aren't black themselves or a darker version of that black they're white and as we see here in the HD there is indeed a black outline not a white outline as we are used to seeing on Sylvester so indeed this is a this is this is not a falsification of, of, of the actual thing by restoration this is actually restoration doing the job the way that it's supposed to so if you're if you're just you know if you're coming back to loving Looney Tunes after you know a few years of not watching it you know and we when you were a kid um, these restorations are <clears throat> pretty cool man and they're they're being done right a lot of them um, which is to say that uh, that would they they weren't always and there are certainly some issues but uh, things like uh, getting these things these details right because this is the kind of thing you could they they could think in marketing is wrong they could someone could see that and go wait a minute no, Sylvester is black you need to fix that and uh, yeah he is black in, in every other cartoon but in this one he's not even though we thought that that's what he was Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Riding the Shield, your daily dose of What's Up Dockery. I'm going to sip from my black coffee again and salute the wonderful black cat, Sylvester the Cat. And uh, I will be back tomorrow for another Riding the Shield.